fresh upon us. Yes, Lord. We can't do nothing without you. to steal and to kill and to destroy. 
But Jesus said, I came, I am come that they might have life. Somebody said, that's us. Yes, and that they might have it more abundantly. Amen. 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 Somebody said, more abundantly. More life abundant. more abundantly. More abundant. Amen. And we're going to use for a topic to the message today, living in the overflow. Living in overflow. And uh, most of us, most of us here are familiar uh, of, of that verse, John 10, 10. And uh, most of us are aware that there is a thief, and his name is Satan. And that he comes to steal our money, steal our help, steal everything, steal, kill, and destroy, to destroy. Amen. He hates God and he hates God's children. Yes, yes. But somebody said, thank God for Jesus. Thank God for Jesus. Jesus thank know that we were going to be up against the devil and demons. And he knew that he was coming to take us out. He knew he was coming to make life hard on us. Yes. Amen. Going to try to try to destroy God's children. Destroy God if he could. But he came, so he go in and put God loves, and God loves his children. Amen. Just like you love your children. Amen. And, 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 and the Spirit of the Lord was just on me this week about how the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy, and make life hard on us. Make it so tough and so unbearable to him. Some people just say they can't go on. Just want to give up on life. But God saw, He looked through the telescope of time and saw we were going to need it. And His love for us. Yeah, John 3 16 says, For He so loved us that He gave His only Son to give His life for us. And here, yeah, that's what Jesus is telling us in this verse of Scripture is that. The devil come to make it hard on us. But he said he come and he died. He gave his life. He suffered and died. To pay the price for our sins. Amen. To pay the price for our shock coming out, folks. Amen. To pay our price to get the curse off of us. Amen. So that the blessing could come up on us. And he came to give us life. And in the Greek, that word life means Zoe. And that means the God kind of life. Come a good life. He said, Come to give us the good life. And not only give us the good life, but to give it to us more abundantly. Keep. Now, we hear that all the time. I've been hearing it for a long time, but I ain't got there yet. Amen. But if the Bible says that I'm supposed to be there, I want to get there. I just need to know the way. Amen. And guess what? His Bible is our road man. Amen. Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. And, and, and through the word of God, I believe that we can have this abundant life. How many of y'all believe that? Through the word of God, I believe we all can live in this overflow. Amen. And the Amplified says uh, more abundantly, it says overflow. Amen. And I believe we can have it. In other words, you got enough to pay your bills. You got enough to uh, meet all your needs. And then you got enough left over where they're going to hurt you to help somebody else pay their bills. Amen. And show them the goodness of the Lord. And show them about your God. What your God can do. Amen. Amen. And uh, but he's that kind of God. He's that kind of God. And today, he's going to show us how to take advantage of what Jesus did for us on Calvary. But in order for him, for him to show us that in Romans 
Romans uh, 12 and 1 and 2. Amen. You know, we, we got to have scripture. We got to have scripture. And we need to be able to remember these scriptures. Amen. So we can go back and read these scriptures and meditate these scriptures and let the Holy Spirit show us what the scriptures say. But what the Lord was showing me, when we, we've heard a lot of these Verses of scripture so often, so many times, until now it's like a cliche. They like they just come in. They have no meaning, really. You know, we don't have faith in them. We just hear them and sing them, and that's it. But you know, we don't just meditate them out, pray them, ask the Holy Spirit, reveal to them what this means. Is this for me? You know, who is this for? That's for somebody else. But I believe that the Bible for me. Why? Because I've been saved. I've accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and my personal Savior. In other words, I've been born again. Amen. I've been born again into the family of Almighty God. I'm in the kingdom now. Amen. Glory to God. And, and, and Romans 12 get us ready for this kind of thinking. As we say, there's a man thinking. So it's, if we think we're poor, we're going to stay poor. If we think we can't make it, we, we ain't going to make it. If we, can't, if we start thinking we can't do no better, we ain't going to do no better. But if we start thinking what the Bible says, let the Bible be the final authority. That's why we make that confession many times before we get into the Word. I am who this Bible says I am. I can do what the Bible says I can do. And I can have what the Bible says I can have. Amen. No matter what other people say. No matter what people say, you black, you can't, you can't, you can't have nothing. You ain't got nothing. You don't never be nothing. You know, it's all the fun you can go. Somebody said, "The devil is a lie." When we came into the kingdom, now the skies to lift. Amen. Cause we got a God not just with us, we got a God in us who's supernatural. He in us, and we can do. The scriptures say not something, but we can do all Amen. things now. Through Christ Jesus, who strengthens us. Amen. Glory to God. And I just thank him for that. And uh, but Romans 12, 2 say, I beseech you, brother, by the mercies of God, that we present ourselves unto him. Amen. Uh, as a holy and as a living sacrifice for his reasonable service. Amen? Amen. And see, when we, when we give ourselves to the Lord, surrender our will and our life to the Lord, now the Lord can use us. Amen. You know, the Lord can lead us and he can guide us and, and he can take us and, and mold us and shape us in the if he put us in the school, he can use us in the schools. If he put us in the police department, he can use us there. If he put us on the farm, he can use he can use us wherever on our daily occupation. Amen. Amen. If we put, present ourselves to him. Amen. Amen. But to have this kind of living to come from thinking down here to thinking up there. You got to change your mind. Amen. You got to change your thing. Amen. Amen. And and uh, like one scripture say over in Numbers, when God told the people how he was going to bless them once they got over into the promised land. Uh -huh. And what all he was giving them in that promised land. Well, the people saw the fruits, and the fruits were uh, plentiful, and it was a blessed land. 
But then they went to see the enemy. And went to tell them, God, they talk giants on that. And we can't go in and take over that. Forgot about who with them. Who they are. Who sending them over there. Who done brought them through the Red Sea. Who done gave them water out of a rock. Amen. Who done rained them down manna in the wilderness. They forgot about that dog. How somebody said, don't limit it. Limit it. Ain't nothing too hard for God. God. Amen. 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 How many of y'all know that if God be fighting, who can be against you? I don't care who's trying to hold you back or what's trying to hold you back. You got God with you. And you can do it. Hallelujah, you can do it. But you got to have faith. You got to have faith. You got to have faith in God, faith in the Word of God. And then we need to have some faith in ourselves. Amen. That we can do this thing. Amen. Somebody say, I can be prosperous. You know, third John, too. God said, I wish above all things. Amen. Let's wrap our mind around that. God said, I was above all things that they prosper and be in hell, even as their soul prosper. Amen. Even as their soul prosper. Even as their mind prosper. Amen. God wants us to prosper in life. Hallelujah. In Romans 12, 2, he said, and don't be conformed to the world. That's it. That's it. Help me preach this thing. <laughs> Amen. I feel my help. But listen, we got some of us. We got to change our thinking from down here to up there. I'm high man. Huh? Why? Cause, cause my God high man. I ain't got no poor God. I ain't got no low man to God. Yeah, my God, how man? He want he the best. He want his he got the best. He want his children to have the best. Amen. Amen. He don't want his children to be scared and getting by. Bottom on the bottom of the heap, begging. That ain't God. That's the devil. Hallelujah. God said his children to be lenders. And not both. Come on here. That's the Bible. Y'all believe both? Amen. Yeah, we got, to, we got to change our thinking and be not conformed to the world's way of thinking. See, like everybody else, barely getting back. But we got to be transformed with the renewing of our mind. Hallelujah. To the word of God. Amen. Believe in what the word say. Hear the word. Doing the word. Glory be to God. Glory to God. Yeah, we must renew our minds to the word of God. And we must not limit God. Now listen to this now. Our God is not a God of just enough. Amen. He's not a God of not enough. Amen. Amen. But our God name is El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Almighty God. And in the Hebrew that means the God who's more than enough. Come on, give him some praise. Yeah, he's the God who is more than enough. Amen. Amen. El Shaddai. Now look, turn with me to Romans. Romans 8, 16. Romans 8, chapter. And the 16 verse. Amen. Show you who you are in Christ. Romans 8, 16. 
And the scripture reads, the Spirit itself bear witness with our spirit. Talking about the Holy Spirit. That we are the children of God. How many of y'all believe that? That you're a child of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If so be that we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. Amen. Amen. We children of the most high God. Glory to God. And Philippians 4, 419, you can write that down, you ain't got to turn that. But Philippians 419 say, my God. Huh? My God. I don't know about your God, but my God. Huh? Oh, church, I was just barely scraping by before I got in this word. Amen. One of the best things happened to me was when I had to start preaching the gospel. Because I had to study. I had to pray and I had to study. And through prayer and study, the Lord revealed to me who He is. Amen. Not only who He is, but who I am in Him. Amen. And I heard that my God. I went to hear that. I said, Lord, I need somewhere to stay. I have my father, I need somewhere. Thank God for the little shotgun house, but my God want me to stay in morning shotgun house. I have to try and renew my mind to what the Bible says because I had been around people who just was low thinking people. You know, like that's the way they thought and that's the way I was thinking. But once I got in the Word, my thinking started coming up. Start to change. Start to hear that word. And finally start believing the word. Amen. But my God shall supply all of my need. And then over there in Romans 10 10, it says you got to believe me, y'all. Say the word of faith is near us. Huh? Somebody say faith. The word of faith is near us. In our heart and in our mind. That we believe in our heart the Lord Jesus Christ died and buried and rose from the dead. If we believe on that, we shall be saved. If we believe it in our heart and confess it with our mind. And that's the way the word of faith works. Amen. So now, if I need a house, and I can find it in the Word of God. Well, well God going to bless me with a house. Well, I need, to, I need to stand on that scripture. Amen. I need to pray the Word. Yes, and meditate the Word. And get it in my heart. And finally, I got it in my heart. Prayed it and, and got it in my heart. And I start believing it. And now all I got to do the Word of faith is start speaking. Amen. Start confessing. Yes, Lord, I thank you. I'm in the side of the house, but I'm confessing. Lord, I thank you for my mantle. <laughs> Hallelujah, somebody. This word of faith works. Word of faith works, baby. You, you get your a promise and a scripture, and you meditate. Get it in your heart. And you start confessing that to my spirit. People say, what? why do you give them all them confessions? The Lord said, give it to them. Because it will change the life. Amen. All they got to do is do it. Amen. All they got to do is confess it. Confess it. Speak it. Read it. Speak it. Confess it. And let it get in your heart. Amen. Let it get in your heart. And, 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 and the song says, and watch God change things. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. He'll change things. Yeah, but my God says supply all of my needs, not some of them, all of them, according to his riches and glory. Amen. And he owns everything. Everything yeah. belongs to my dad. Amen. Everything I need belongs to him. And I got, I got a, I got a news flash. 
He won't just supply your needs. I was walking around my yard thinking about what the Lord had brought me from. And I went to tell him, Lord, you, you done supplied me with all my needs. Now you're giving me more. He'll do it. He'll do it. I'm a living witness. He'll do it. You work this word and watch him change the thing. Hallelujah. Somebody say, believe the word. Believe it. Amen. And watch God change the thing. But he wants to he want us to live in an overflow. Amen. He wants us to live in an overflow. Now, okay, turn with me to Galatians 3 and 13. Oh, this is life-changing word. This is powerful word. God is blessing somebody today. Amen. Yeah, he, he helping somebody. I feel it. Galatians 3.19 3.13 Yeah. And it says Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Being made a curse for us. For it's written, cursed is everyone that are hanging on a tree. Amen. Why? So that the blessing Abraham. of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles through Jesus Christ. Amen. That we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Amen. Amen. And we all know that the curse, because of Adam, Sin, curse came upon the earth, came upon mankind. Amen. Amen. But through the last Adam, Jesus Christ, he paid the price for the curse to be all folks. Amen. He read, somebody said, I've been redeemed. I've been redeemed. From the curse. From the curse. I've been redeemed by Jesus Christ. Amen. In other words, he, he took us away from it. He brought us back from it. Satan had us, but Jesus paid the price so that we could be free, that we could be justified, that we could become in the kingdom of God, we could become children of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that the blessing of Abraham could come up on us. Amen. And many of us, we hear that the blessing of Abraham is up on us. What does that mean? Uh, Amen. Amen. That means that you're blessed. Amen. That you're empowered to prosper. Amen. Amen. Because to the believers. Amen. Amen. And the curse was threefold. Spiritual death, hell, sickness and disease, poverty, death, lack. That's the curse. And the blessing of Abraham is threefold. Spiritual life, everlasting life, healing, divine health, prosperity. Hallelujah. It's among us. Abundance. That's the blessing of Abraham. God told Abraham in Genesis 12, I want to bless you so that all the nations of the earth could be blessed Amen. through you. Amen. And I want to bless you so that you can be a blessing. Amen. And that's what he's saying to us today. Amen. He want to bless, that you bless so that you can be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he wants you to overflow in blessing. Hallelujah. As I was stepping that out, the Lord was showing me. We're talking about in the, in the winter, people can't park out there. We're supposed to have so much overflow until if they say it cost $50,000 to black top this place, we say, I got it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's overflow. Amen. And I just believe that's going to happen. Amen. 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 I need this for the church. I, I can take care of that. That's what God wants. Amen. 
children come up and don't have uniforms for school. Mama ain't working, single parent. What they gonna do? Holy Ghost flow to you. I got that. Overflow. Hallelujah. Somebody else needs a house and they ain't got nowhere to stay at. Amen. You got a house. Your house paid for. But now you got an excess. God said, buy them a house. Can anybody see yourself in that overflow? Come on, you got to see yourself. You got to see yourself, man. Amen. You got to see. God wants us to start thinking about the overflow. But he got purpose for the overflow. We living in the last day. Jesus coming back soon. The gospel still hasn't got all over the world. You got people right here in our neighborhood need to be reached with the gospel of Jesus. And, and it takes money. It takes wealth. They get the gospel out. They get radio out, TV out. They help missionaries. They build churches. Support churches. Amen. And he tells us in Deuteronomy 818. You can write that scripture down. In Deuteronomy 818. That it is the Lord. Amen. Who gives us the power. Amen. Huh? To get wealth. Why? Not for your forward no more. But so that he can establish his covenant. In the earth. To get the gospel out. To be a blessing to others. Amen. Yeah, it's the Lord that gives you the power to get that away. So he can establish his covenant. Glory to God. And he wants the blessing of Abraham to come upon us. Amen. Amen. Now, let's look at let's look at the blessing. Let's look at the blessing. In Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy 28. Back in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy. D-E-U-T-E-R-O-N-O-M-Y. I don't know how to come out of Deuteronomy much. But I want y'all to see the blessing. Amen. Deuteronomy what? 28. Yeah. Praise God. Thank God for the word. And let's read it together. 1 through 14. And it says, It shall come to pass... If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God, and observe to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will do what? Set your eye above all the nations of the earth, and all these, listen, all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you, if thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Number verse 3. Blessed shall thou be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. Blessed shall be thy basket and thy store. Blessed shall thou be when thou do what? Come in. Blessed shall you be when you go inside. The Lord shall cause the enemies that rise up against you to be spent before your faith. They shall come out against you one way, flee before you some way. The Lord shall do what? Command the blessing upon you and your storehouse. Talk about your savings account. If you ain't got no savings account, you need to get a savings account. Amen. And in all that thou settest your hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth. The Lord shall establish a holy people unto thee, and he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep his commandments of the Lord thy God, and walk in his way. And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord. And they should be afraid of you. 
and the Lord shall make it plenteous. Amen. And good. Somebody say more than enough. More than enough. Say overflow. Overflow. Abundance. Abundance. Amen. Amen. Can y'all see yourselves there? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah and the Lord shall make you plenteous and good. And the fruit of your body, and in the fruit of your cattle, and the fruit of your ground, and in the land which the Lord swear unto the Father to give you. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven, to give you rain unto the land and its seeds, and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt do what? Shall lend and not bar. Can you see yourself there? You ain't going up there to friendly family. You lending them money. Yeah. That's the curse. We got to go to these payday. Payday law. That's one of that's one of the the toughest things Satan ever put us in. Get, got me in that mess one time and I couldn't get out. I had a hard time getting out. And I got out with this word of God and I said, thank God. I done got over. And I ain't going back no more. Hallelujah, somebody. Get to give them all your money. Yeah. He said, no, Sam. But that's one thing black folks don't do. Well, I, I just say some people don't do. It's teach the children about credit Amen. and about finance. I work with some youngsters and don't none of them know nothing about credit. Ain't got no credit. Got a card long when they turned 18 and running up, didn't pay it, and credit been bad in so Ain't understood how to pay it back off. Amen. And get the credit started back. Yeah, the credit ain't bad if you pay. Go and pay it on out. But you don't want it to linger around. Right. Amen. Amen. God wants His people free, yes, happy, joyous, and free. Amen. Matter of fact, He tell us to save mm -hmm. for what we want. Yes. Amen. 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 I want the Bible say, "Oh no, man, nothing but the love." But if you like me, I can't wait. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Amen. But I'm learning some sense to pay back more than I'm what I'm supposed to pay back every month. They knock that interest off. Amen. Amen. And it's going to be that free. It's in the name of Jesus, supernatural. I believe this word. I believe it. I, I'm, I'm confessing it every moment I get it. I'm debt free in the name of Jesus. My mortgage paid for it. My car paid for it. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My, my God supplying all my needs according to my riches and gold. And the angels going for it. I don't see them, but I know they're going. Supernatural debt cancellation. They called me. Want to know if I want to refinance. We get you low interest rate. Right we ain't got to pay this insurance. Amen. What verse will I fall for? 13. Yeah. It says, And the Lord shall make you the head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only and not the knee. And thou shalt hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God. I believe it. Which I command thee this day to observe and do. And thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day to the right or to the left to go after other God or to serve them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the word. Thank God for the word. Thank God for the blessing that's upon my life. 
thank God for the blessing that's upon my life. Now, we're going we're gonna to confess this overflow confession one more time. But we want to confess it in faith. Confess it in faith. Believe it as you confess. Be expecting God to move in your life as you confess this word. Somebody say, I'm expecting. Okay. Let's read it. I'm living in the overflow. I have a surplus of prosperity. I have more than enough. I'm blessed beyond measure. My cup is running over. I'm fur furnishing abundance. I receive multiple streams of income. My storehouses are full and overflowing. I'm increasing more and more. It's flood stage. The floodgates of heaven are open and the blessing is pouring out. There's not enough room to contain it all. I'm experiencing the blessing overflow in Jesus' name. Come on, give my hand clap. Amen. And I'm just believing God for the testimonies. I'm coming back talking about a high God. It's blessing and unexpected income. It's coming forth in your life. Unexpected death cancellation to come forth in your life. Amen. Be multiple screens of income. Right now, you ain't got the one, one screen. But guess what? Once you start confessing this, you ain't going to have just one. You won't have just two. You won't just have just three. But you're going to have four screens of income coming in. Amen. How many believe? Amen. Maybe going through a trial, tribulation. You may be going through a storm. And you need the church to stand with you. Need the church to pray. Come on, give them a hand clap. Is it that good? In Jesus' name. Yeah.